this handcuff key might just be the best handcuff key there is. The reason I say that is for low light double locking, this is gonna be the best for you. I mean, it's just amazing. So this is made by Streamlight and this is called the Cuff Mate. The Cuff Mate is cool because it has a little LED light, right? Let's see if we can get that to focus. Right there at the front and at the rear. If I light it up, you'll see one there and one there. So if you ain't familiar with double locking, the way you do this is you take this little thing on the end here, this little weird piece, I'm not sure what you'd call that. And then on these handcuffs, you have this little hole right here. You line it up and you push it in. You can see it's been pushed in now. And that keeps the handcuff from cinching up on the person, you know, because that will ultimately hurt them and can lead to lawsuits and stuff like that. So that is why that is a thing. It's very important to double lock. However, in high stress situations or if somebody's, you know, just not being compliant whatsoever, it can be very difficult to double lock somebody because it's so hard to do. I mean, even when you're just in a normal environment, especially in low light. So this is going to help you in low light and it's extended and serrated. So it's going to help you to hold on to it. Um, this one's great too. This is made by Zach Tool. It's a swivel one. It's got good serrations, but it does not have a light. So it's bad for low light. And they're pretty much the same price. I mean, this is like 13 and this is 15. So I'd personally go with this one. Now, in terms of double locking, you will have to double lock normal chain handcuffs and hinged handcuffs. Um, but my two recommendations, if you can, is to get Smith & Wesson lever lock or ASP cuffs. Because ASP, they double lock by these little buttons right here. So you just have to push, push that and the handcuff is locked. You cannot cinch it down if that button is pressed in. See the difference? And you can quickly tell it's super easy. It's very easy under stress or with somebody fighting. Lever locks. These are Smith & Wesson M&P lever locks. The way you do these is there's this little lever right here, this little lip. And if you push that like that, it is now, oops, I did not do it. <laughs> I didn't do it all the way. There we go. It is now cinched up. Or I'm sorry, not cinched up, but locked. One more time, see here, there's the lever. Pull it all the way, don't be like me, and you will lock it. So, <clears throat> if you have to use Smith & Wesson cuffs per department policy or company policy, I'd get the lever lock ones. They do cost a little bit more. They're like 35 to $37, I think, but they're worth it. If you can go with ASP, I would. Smith & Wesson, the way they double lock is by this little piece right here you just stick it in there and push it to one of the other sides um and that will double lock them i would not use handcuffs that double lock like these it's just stupid to do that uh, in terms of what this key unlocks this one key will unlock asp handcuffs it will unlock smith and wesson handcuffs it was double locked, so I had to twist it a few times. Uh, it will unlock these Smith & Wesson lever locks. It will not unlock these off-brand handcuffs right here. It won't do it. So if that's what you're trying to do, it's not going to work. Uh, if you have brand name cuffs, you should be all right. I don't know about Peerless. I don't own any Peerless. Maybe if somebody does that's watching this maybe drop in the comments for people and let them know if this key works with peerless i have no idea you might be able to contact streamlight as well and ask if it works with peerless but yeah uh this might just be the best handcuff key there is so thanks for watching